Okay, so in this example, it says the sum of two numbers is 23 and their product is 120. What is the positive difference between the two numbers? So in order to do this particular problem, we're going to have to set up a system of equations and in particular a two by two system of equations. So again, we're dealing with sum and product. So my first equation is going to look like this. X plus Y is going to be equal to 23. And we should probably define our variables here. So I'm going to call X will be the first number. Y is going to be the second number. Okay? So just defining our variables. So here's our first equation. And again, we're trying to find those two numbers. And then it says their product is 120. So again, this is multiplication. So X times Y is going to be equal to 120. From here, we can go ahead and use substitution. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my first equation and I'm going to solve for y. If you want to solve for x, you can do that too, but for me, I'll just solve for y. And solving for y, I get y equals, I'm going to subtract x on both sides, so I get negative x, right, plus 23. Okay, so there it is. Now I can use substitution. So looking at my second equation here, wherever I see a y, I'm going to plug in what I have here. So just rewriting this, I have x. Now here's my y, so I put in parentheses negative x plus 23. And this is going to be equal to 120. Okay. So let's go ahead and distribute the x. When we do that, we get negative x squared plus 23x. This will be equal to 120. Okay. So I can see here that I have a quadratic, and we know how to solve quadratics. We can factor, we can use the quadratic formula. We can even complete the square, right? So what I want to do is I want to set one side equal to zero so I can solve this quadratic. So I'm going to add x squared on both sides, and I'm going to subtract 23x on both sides. Doing that, you're going to get the following. You get x squared minus 23x plus 120. This will all be equal to zero, okay? So there we are. So at this point, we can try to factor, all right? So I'm just going to go ahead and just erase some of this work so we have room. So just erasing this here and this, okay? And we'll just write it right up here. So we have x squared minus 23x plus 120 is going to be equal to zero. So we can erase this. Right, and now we know that, well, we can use the AC method here. And the AC method is talking about a quadratic in standard form, which is AX squared plus BX plus C. So using the AC method, I do A times C. In this case, my A, my coefficient out in front is 1. My C is 120. So when I multiply the 2, I get 120. So A times C is 120. And then I have to say to myself, what two numbers when I multiply will give me 120, but add up to my B, which is negative 23. Okay, that's going to be negative 15 and negative 8. When I multiply the 2, I get 120. When I add the 2, I get negative 23. And since my A value here is 1, I can go ahead and put this right into its factored form. Right. So putting it right into its factored form, we get x minus 8 x minus 15, this will be all equal to zero. And now we just solve each one of our factors, right? Which we know is gonna be x minus eight equal to zero, x minus 15 equal to zero. Solving both of those, we get x is equal to eight, x is equal to 15, okay? So we're actually gonna have two answers here. So we're almost done. We have two values for x. We need to plug this back into one of our two original equations. It doesn't matter which one. I'll just use equation one, and we're going to solve for y. Okay, so again, we're going to have to erase this again. And we're just going to solve for y using equation one. So plugging it in, right? So I'm going to use this x value. Plugging it in, I get 8 plus y is equal to 23. You're going to subtract both sides by 8. Doing that, you get y is equal to 15, okay? And we can write this as a point, right? I plugged in an 8 
for x and I returned a 15 for my y. So as a point, it's going to be 8 comma 15. All right, there's one solution. Let's get our next one. Erasing this. So let's plug in a 15 for x. So we get 15 plus y equal to 23. Again, we're going to subtract both sides, in this case, by 15. So we subtract both sides by 15. We get y is equal to 8. Again, this is going to be a point, right? So I can write here 15 comma 8. 15 comma 8. So again, I have two solutions here. And we can clearly see the two numbers now. It's going to be 8 and 15, right? Um, so what we want to do is find that last part. Now it says, what is the positive difference between the two numbers? Okay, so let's just erase this. So if we want to find the positive difference, we're going to use absolute value. And you can pick any solution you want. You can pick this one or this one. We'll use both so you can see how it's going to work out. The positive difference, I'm going to use absolute value. And then I'm going to have 8 minus 15. Okay? And doing this, well, 8 minus 15 is going to give us negative 7. But the absolute value of negative 7 is going to give us 7. So there it is. If you were to pick this point, well, you get the same answer, right? Take the absolute value, and you get 15 minus 8, okay? And this is also going to give us positive 7. So we can say here that the positive difference between our two numbers is going to be 7, okay? And again, our two numbers were 8 and 15. All right, and that is it.